Okay, so our road trip adventure playing the part of Mike Fittingen is Alan back there. I'll be David Freiberger for today, and Dulcich is being played by RC. We're getting ready to drive four and a half hours to pick up a truck that I know nothing about. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Okay, we made it. Only overheated a few times, so it's all good. Couldn't find a place because it's in the back of this ready mix concrete joint. So I called him from down the road. He said, See that giant radio tower to the north? I said, Yeah. He said, Go stand under that. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Okay, here I am. Here's my truck. Pretty excited so far. Got a seat. That's a plus. Yeah. Got a shifter yeah. and a steering wheel. Pretty comfortable even. Not bad. Yeah, I like it. Pretty good for a twenty thousand dollar rig. <laughs> Two thousand. So anyway, here we are. We're gonna get her fired up and you got a drain for your tank? see what it takes. Okay. All right, Finnegan. I mean Hickman's cleaning up the wiring. Marcy's over there making sure we do it right. We have tail lights. Brackets clamped on there. Everything zip tied together. We'll stop and get some electrical tape, but eh, they work. All we gotta do is make it five hours home and we're all set. Moving down the road. <laughs> A sprung truck with no bed. Yeah. You're getting a crap beat out of us right now. <laughs> monster life. So far, so good. Runs a little funny sometimes, but I think I got a good vibe. Well, the roadkill adventure is over. I don't know if you can see it, but my new truck is home. Actually got a damn good truck, even the wipers work. I'm satisfied. Hey everyone. Some updates from the last time we talked. Uh, we got the hauler here. Let me see if I can get a better shot of this. We got our hauler here from the roadkill style adventure. And uh, Everything worked out really great. We drove all the way down to Oklahoma City, it's about a five hour drive one way, came back, no major issues. Noticed it was idle and a little bit funny. Um, determined that one of the pressure lines is sucking air, so driving down the road it's fine, but it, it's starting to be hard to start because I have an air leak somewhere in the fuel system. On a diesel, no bueno. But anyway, got a bunch of steel from a friend of mine it was a trade deal for working on his trailer because you know I'm poor and uh, decided that I didn't have enough so started going through and uh, figured out that I would need about 350 to 400 dollars worth of steel to finish the bed the way I wanted it to so cruising Craigslist I found this bed And while it's short, it has a gooseneck hitch right there. It's got a nice headache crack. And the frame centers are about dead on where they need to be. So 
all I really have to do is jack it up about three or four inches so I don't rub the tires when I load the truck on it. Not on the truck, on the trailer. And then uh, add about a foot to 16 inches to the front of it. And I got a pretty nice flatbed. And this was only $350, so I actually got more bang for my buck. But that's how we do it here. It's cheap. Most bang for the buck. As cheap as we can do it. Trade deals, barter deals. Old school monster life. Yeah.